everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. Today I'm going to be featuring products from Simon Says Stamps December release. December is a month long celebration over at Simon Says Stamp showcasing dyes, die cutting techniques, and all sorts of fun die surprises throughout the month. And one of those big surprises is debuting today. Simon His Stamp has designed dies that actually cut out Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous Christmas stamps, which those stamps I absolutely love. I've made some things already with them and I couldn't wait to create again with those stamps using Simon Says Stamps dies that cut out these stamps. So I'm going to be using these dies today that cut out the stamps from Tim Holtz's Stampers Anonymous Christmas release and I'm going to make Christmas tags with them. I'm still working on all my tags for the holidays so I wanted to make a few more and what better use of these dies than to create some really fun shaped tags. So I did make quite a few and we'll start off first with festive print. So this is the festive print stamp set. I'm going to be using the snow globe image that has these adorable houses and I have the die that cuts out the snow globe here ready to go. I'm going to start first by stamping this image with Simon's Stamp Intense Black Ink. I'm going to stamp it onto Nina Desert Storm cardstock. I love that craft base for this and I thought it'd be fun to color in the negative spaces with some colored pencils. So I just picked out some colored pencils that I had in my stash and I'm just going to add some simple shading over top of each of the areas. So for the trees I picked out a couple of greens. For the houses I went with a red roof on the house on the right and so I used a couple of red pencils to shade that in. I colored both sections of the roof on that house with that same red and then I did add a little bit of some gray shading to the side of the house which I thought would add a little bit of dimension to it. Moving on to the second house I used some blue pencils for the roof and then a very light blue for adding a little bit of shading on the rest of the house. The moon I colored with a couple of yellows and then I added a strip of white along the bottom with a white pencil and then also a white gel pen. Using that same gel pen I used that to color in the snowflakes that are falling down inside the snow globe. Now here's the fun part. I'm going to take the Simon Says Stamp festive print die and I'm going to use that to cut the snow globe out. Then I took a hole punch and I just punched a hole across the top here so that way I can thread some twine through this. This would also make an adorable little shaped card. I think that would be super fun. But since I'm making a tag I wanted to add a fun little greeting on top. This I picked out here. It says Mary. I'm going to stamp this onto some schoolhouse red cardstock with embossing ink and then I'll take some cream embossing powder from Simon's Stamp and go ahead and sprinkle that over top. I am stamping two Marys because I actually made two of these tags and I made them the exact same way. So I'm just duplicating each process to give me a couple of really fun and festive tags. I took a couple pieces of foam tape and I'm just going to stick those on the back side of my Mary and put that along the top of my tag. And then I took some twine and threaded that through the hole, tied it across the top and now I can attach this onto a gift and I think this is super adorable. I love that contrast too with the black and then the colored pencils. Really fun way to be able to use this stamp and also festive print die. Let's make another one. So here I have the winter woodland stamp and there is a single die that cuts out the tree for this set and I'm going to go ahead and first start by stamping my tree with a few shades of Simon's Stamp Positively Saturated Ink starting first with cabbage. Cabbage is going to be my base color for this tree and then I want to add a little bit of shading. So using a Simon Says Stamp blending brush and then my next color of ink which is artichoke, I'm just going to color over certain areas of this tree. Not coloring the whole thing because I do want to make sure I leave some areas that the cabbage ink will still show through. And I did stamp the artichoke a couple of times just to get a darker impression. Finally I'm going to move on to kale which is the darkest of this trio. And I'll add that in a few other areas trying to make sure that again don't cover the whole tree so that way all those other colors are still showing through. And I get this really cool shaded effect which I think is fun. Using the die I'm going to line this up and then go ahead and tape it in place so it doesn't shift as I run it through my die cut machine. And that gives me this really beautiful tree shape. I'm going to decorate my tree with some sequins. These are the icy sequins new from Simon's December release and I thought they would be really pretty as ornaments on my tree. So I'm going to use glossy accents to put some adhesive down and then taking my place and score tool I'll just pick up my sequins and lay them into the glue. Covering the entire tree with these fun little confetti sequins. 
I did decide to add a strip of glue along the bottom of the tree and then I can add some glitter on top of that. And that glitter that I used is Tim Holtz Rock Candy Distress Glitter. That fun glitter adds a bit of sparkle across the bottom there which I think is really pretty. And then I did use that same hole punch to punch a hole across the top and that's where I'm going to thread some twine. I did add a sentiment for this tag. I picked out this greeting that I thought was super pretty, love the elegant script. I stamped it with embossing ink onto some dark green cardstock and then with some silver embossing powder I'm going to go ahead and heat set that so I have this really nice silvery greeting on top of this green cardstock. And that sentiment by the way is from the Jolly Holiday set which I will be using to make another tag here in a little bit. So my sentiment I did pop up on top of this tag using some foam squares and then with Simon Says Stamp white and silver twine I'm going to thread that through the top of my tree so that way I can hang this on a gift. Now I thought I was done here but then I decided I wanted to add a little bit of contrast on the bottom of my tag so I'm just going to carefully add a little bit of that darker kale ink along the bottom just to balance out the different greens. I felt like it was a little pale down there so adding that little bit of extra green really grounded the tree and goes nice with all of the colors. So this tag I just love. It looks beautiful on a white gift with silvery snowflakes pulling out that silver from the sentiment. Now remember I mentioned about the Jolly Holiday set. Well I'm going to use that here to make a Santa tag. So I have the stamp set here and I'm going to use this Santa image that is just Santa's head. I love the illustration here and I thought it'd be fun to do some no line watercoloring. I'm going to start stamping this with Lost Shadow ink from Tim Holtz's Distress Ink Collection. I love this ink for no line distress watercoloring. I'm going to also pick out two different reds. This is Candied Apple and Aged Mahogany from the Distress line and I'm going to use these to start coloring in my image. I'm using just a paintbrush and some water to let those inks get a little bit more fluid and that way I can easily paint this across my piece. I did stamp this twice because I wasn't sure if I was going to be happy with the colors I chose so I did want to have an extra option just in case I didn't like how my beard was turning out for Santa but in the end I was very happy with it. I ended up using some pumice stone to add some shading to his beard and then I also used a bit of gathered twigs, lost shadow and also spun sugar to color in his face and skin tone and I love how this color combination really worked out nice. So once all my coloring was complete I did go in with a black pen and add some additional shading to Santa, kind of mostly just some sketchy lines which I think lends to the illustration style here. I thought that would be fun. And then with the Jolly Holiday die set I'm going to go ahead and pick out this die here that cuts out Santa and I'm going to then run this through my die cut machine. With a little bit of glossy accents I did add some adhesive in certain spots so I can add a bit of sparkle to Santa. Again using Distress Clear Rock Candy for this because Clear Rock Candy is the best glitter for Christmas time. Has the perfect amount of sparkle. I picked out a tag from my stash and I'm going to die cut this holiday backdrops from Tim Holtz. I do want to have some of this pattern showing through but we're also going to emboss it with an embossing folder. This is the Fanciful Flurries embossing folder new from Simon's December release and I'm just going to pick out which section of the snowflakes I'd like to see embossed onto this pattern paper. Once I'm happy with my selection then I'll take this and run it through my die cut machine to emboss those snowflakes into it and I did decide to enhance them so you get they stand out a bit more by taking some Simon Says Stamp ink and burnishing that over the raised areas that'll catch on those raised areas and give this some nice contrast. And that ink that I used is actually also brand new to Simon's December release and I'll talk about that in a little bit because we're actually going to use that ink for some stamping. But here's my tag all finished. I love the vintage feel of this, the classic Santa. It's a really sweet tag. It's also nice and small so it's not going to overwhelm a smaller gift which I think is really nice. All right let's go to some stamping. I pulled out that same Jolly Holiday set. We're going to use the candy stripe here and we're going to do some multicolored stamping on this to add some shading. So I'm using Simon Says Stamp Punch and also Cabernet ink. These two inks are brand new as part of a trio of red colors to Simon's December release and I thought it would be fun to add some shading to this stamp by just stamping with punch first and then going through with Cabernet and just inking up certain sections of the stamp so that way it looks like it's shaded. I think this looks really cool and of course that's made possible by stamping inside of a stamping tool like the Misty so that you can repeat over the same area very easily. 
And then using the Jolly Holiday dies, I'm going to use the die that cuts out this cute candy stripe and we'll cut all of these different pieces. Then I'm going to take some glossy accents and over the white areas of my candy stripes, I'm going to put some adhesive so that way I can sprinkle this with some glitter. That way this will sparkle a little bit and when it catches the light, I love that. I'll end up covering all the white areas on each of my candy stripes and then once I have all of them complete, I can start arranging them onto a tag. So the tag I'm actually going to emboss with that same fanciful flurries embossing folder I used for the tag we just made. And this time I'm actually going to reverse the impression. So now the impression is debossed into my tag instead of it being raised, which is going to give me this really cool effect when I start swiping these beautiful red inks across my tag. So now we're catching that ink on the paper and any of the debossed snowflakes aren't. And that's giving this really cool rubbed paper effect, which I really like. And so I used all three of the new colors, which is Punch, Sangria, and Cabernet. And there are also three purple colors that are part of the December release. I didn't use those in my tags today, but those three colors are beautiful dusty purples, which are so pretty. I have all of the new products that I'm using today, plus the new inks listed down below in the video description and on my blog, also a link to the entire December release. So if you're curious about anything, you can go find it all there, including these dies that are from Simon's stamp exclusively and cut out the Tim Holtz stamps. So I arranged all my candy canes on top of my tag and now we're ready to add a greeting. I'm going to use the Christmas cartoon set and I'm going to stamp this greeting that says Merry and Bright onto some black cardstock with embossing ink. That way I can have a really nice contrasting greeting on top of all of this red. I think that'll look really nice and stand out beautifully. I used cream embossing powder and sprinkled that over top, heat set that with my tool, and then finally I'll stick this right on top of my tag right along the bottom. Now because this tag is embossed, I did die cut a second tag that is completely plain and that way I can put it on the back side of my tag and I'll have a nice smooth clean surface to write on. With Simon Says Stamp white and silver twine, I'm just going to thread a little bit of that through the top of my tag which is going to embellish this beautifully and pull in some of that nice sparkle. I love a simple twine tied across the top of a tag. It also makes it super easy to attach to your gift or tie across something too. I love how all these tags turned out. Check out that sparkle as the candy stripes catch the light. This is a fun set of tags that you could easily make multiples of. And of course, the coolest part is that I was able to die cut these beautiful images from Tim Holtz using Simon Says Stamps dies that cut these out. So really cool, I love this. And I hope you'll check out the dies because these are fantastic for using with your Tim Holtz Christmas stamps. If you're curious about anything, definitely check out the links below in the video description and over on my blog. There are picture links. There are also still pictures of all the tags that I've shared today. And don't forget that Simon Says Stamp is going to be hosting a blog hop, not only on Saturday, tomorrow, of course, is December 2nd. It's on Saturday and also December 8th. I'm going to be participating in the December 8th blog hop, so I hope you'll come back and see that inspiration, but also check out the Simon Says Stamp blog on December 2nd so that you can see all of the other inspiration that's going to be shared on day one of this two day blog hop, December 2nd and also December 8th for the Simon Says Stamp December release blog hops. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I will be back very soon to share more with you all. But until I see you again, I hope you have a very happy day and thanks for watching.